So retail is an ever-changing industry that's most affected by current trends, our environment, and of course, technology. We've seen a ton of changes this past year as a result of the pandemic, but the pandemic didn't necessarily start to change. Customers have been choosing convenience and, and experience over many things for years, especially with the dawn of e-commerce and pick up in store or curbside options. Today, we're gonna to deep dive into the changing customer experience and how data and technology are revolutionizing retail. We have a great panel here, so let's start with some introductions. We have Sean from Batteries Plus. Hi, Sean. Hello. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What's going on? Uh, hello, I'm Sean Budiak with Batteries Plus. Uh, we're a nationwide retailer, specialty retailer, focusing on batteries and light bulbs and repair services. Uh, my role here is a vice president of category management, dealing with the uh, products we sell and the merchandising in store. Thanks, Andy. Uh, th thanks, Sean. Andy, do you want to go next? Yeah, hi, Dana. Uh, my name is Andy Zanger, and I'm the director of corporate sales at CDW. Uh, for those that may not be familiar with CDW, we're a Fortune 500 company with locations in 10 countries who has been a market-leading provider of integrated technology solutions for more than 35 years. We provide the full stack of technology solutions and services across the entire IT lifecycle and are currently servicing our customers in more than 150 countries. Um, I've personally been with CDW for a little over 26 years now, and prior to that, I was an assistant store manager in charge of operations for a big box retailer. So. Uh, quite a few years ago, I was passionate about helping to start a retail practice at CDW to help our customers use technology in innovative ways and get closer to their customers. Fantastic. Thanks, Andy. And last but not least, Jerry. Hi, Dana. Um, my name is Jerry Daniels. I'm the founder and CEO of Brothers Media Group. Uh, we're a digital marketing solutions uh, provider that manages curated private television networks as well as traditional digital signage for just over 2,000 uh, customers in all 50 states. Uh, we provide network strategy, design, procurement, logistics, installations, uh, network hosting and management, uh, as well as content creation. Um, kind of a one-stop shop for everything digital signage, including LFDs, video walls, uh, indoor, outdoor, uh, LED, as well as uh, mobile. Fantastic. So now that we all know each other, let's start talking about the customer experience. Let's start with you, Sean. Tell us about what Batteries Plus Bulbs has done to evolve and increase the customer experience. So yeah, during the, uh, the past year, obviously Batteries Plus has gone through changes you know, in how we serve our customers, and just like every other retailer. Uh, we are a small, local, and essential retailer that has been very fortunate to be able to, to serve our retail and our commercial customers really throughout this entire endeavor. Uh, just like many other retailers, our 700 stores had to adapt quickly. You know, we had to maximize a you know, buy online, pick up in store experience migrate quickly to a curbside pickup and a contactless installation, things like car batteries or phone repairs or watch batteries. Uh, and as that needs-based retailer, you know, customers are coming to us you know, in this time and in this past year to really get problem solved. Whether the car battery died, you know, the phone broke that they need to communicate to their loved ones with, you know, they come to us to solve a problem today. And as we look at how we evolve and increase that customer experience you know, in this, ever-changing retail environment, and we recognize that too often, our customers saw us for only what they came in for today. Meaning, we rescued the car battery today, and we're now the car battery shop. We fixed right. the phone, we're now the phone fix it shop. And we needed to solve this problem. So as we were, were going through our evolution, you know, we realized that the answer to that is an overhaul of our in-store retail experience. But we're not a, a significantly large footprint, about a thousand square feet on, on the retail floor. So it is a smaller, you know, safer feeling environment for many customers. Now, however, we needed to make slight changes to get the customer into our door and to tell them about more of the things we do. So we're undergoing right now a transformation of our retail space in many of our stores. And it really includes three things. It's moving our, our trusted advisors, our store associates to the back of the store we need to get customers to walk by the new products and become known for more than what they came in for. Uh, we're introducing a new counter that is a little bit more customer friendly, allows them to see other products in the store easier rather than be you know, more of a, a wall between us and the customer. And a big piece of this evolution, if you will, is introducing some pretty unique technology into our environment. And that's where Samsung comes into play. We are introducing 
digital displays in our stores, uh, utilizing the Samsung Magic Info technology to help our trusted advisors and our customers understand more of what we're doing. So we're doing this in two ways. Uh, I've mentioned already a whole bunch of the services we provide every day. Customers just don't see that in the store. So one of our, our digital displays in every store will be dedicated to the services. And a lot of those happen either in the parking lot, you know, or they might happen in the back room. And getting that customer who's at the counter to see all the things we can do for them is critical. Yeah. Uh, the second display that we're doing in store is really about communicating the other categories of products. So obviously, as every retailer runs promotions, we're running promotions all day long, things they may not have come in for but need, like AA batteries. Those will be in that display. Um, we'll also be talking about new product launches, you know, unique items that, you know, again, it's, it's a good chance for the trusted advisor in our store to talk about that with the customer. Right. But I think most importantly is all about the seasonal impact of our business. Um, you know, with COVID over the last year, there's been a great movement to kind of a back to the outdoors. Yeah. It's hard to buy a boat these days. It's hard to buy, a, you know, a snowmobile in the north. And obviously all those devices you know, have batteries in them. So as we approach the spring season, uh, you know, in Wisconsin, we're probably a couple of months away. But <laughs> as we approach that season, getting that messaging in store to say, it's time to think about prepping the boat. It's time to get the motorcycle out of the garage. And be really local with that is key. So, you know, with the evolution of the in-store experience, it's, it's all about us being able to inform our customers you know, of everything we do open up the store a little bit to a better communication, and honestly, get them in front of some of this technology you know, to not always require our trust advisors to tell them about everything. It's fantastic, Sean. And yes, I can't wait to fire up the boat. My father-in-law has a fishing boat we put out into the sounds. Can't wait. So I'm ready to roll. Andy, um, let's move to you. You have a number of customers who have, have I'm sure have experienced similar transitions from you know static signage into digital signage. Um, and I'm sure, of course, on the mobile side as well, in terms of POS and employee operations. What can you tell me about that? Yeah, for sure, Dana. When, when I look back to a little over a year ago at the National Retail Federation's 2020 Big Show, it's interesting because when you listen to a lot of the sessions that took place there, there was a common theme of needing to create experiences for customers. Um, there was a fundamental challenge of how do retailers create an environment where customers want to go to a store because they need to buy something as opposed to feeling like they need to go to a store because they want to buy something. Right. And, you know, as, as we sit here a year later, that couldn't be more true than it is today. Um, you know, over the last year, there was probably anywhere from five to 10 years worth of innovation that took place and a very compressed period of time out of necessity, you know, due to, you know, local restrictions and health concerns, um, people became comfortable using online ordering, delivery services, or curbside pickup to fulfill their needs. And for many people, you know, those were, that was the first time that they actually did so. And a lot of them are willing to continue to order in that way. And while it's, like it's, you know, while it's necessary to pivot in order to serve customers, the challenge is now, how do we bring them back to the stores? You know, so how do I create an experience in the store that makes a customer want to visit? And not only that, but the added complexity of making them feel safe to come to the store. Right. You know, so mobility can play a huge role in that and how companies achieve this. And putting mobile devices in the hands of store associates and restaurant associates is leading to better customer experiences. So we're seeing grocery stores and big box retailers use mobile devices to assist with curbside programs, as well as line busting and, and various other use cases. Um, you know, for example, we recently worked with a large grocery chain who wanted to quickly scale up a curbside program to serve their customers. So we were able to work with them to very quickly procure, provision, and deploy mobile devices to approximately 300 of their stores. Wow. The devices were, you know, able to be immediately put into the hands of their store associates, which cut down on shopper order wait times, gives the associates better visibility into upcoming orders, and ultimately increases the customer experience while allowing them to serve more customers at the same time. Mm. Um, we also helped the big box retailer in their efforts to ramp up e-commerce fulfillment. Um, in this case, we deployed about 15,000 Samsung rugged tablets wow. with CDW doing provisioning and staging services so that supervisors and DC leads um, could get those devices to manage operations and leverage features like the S Pen capabilities for going from paper to digital. Um, and another uh, big box retailer actually rolled out about 2,000 rugged tablets for merchandising and training. 
Um, we're finding that the larger screen of the rugged tablets make it easier for digitizing planograms and other operational tasks. Um, That's fantastic. We're, um, yeah, we're also seeing similar use cases in the restaurant space as well. Um, I'm sure everyone's driven down the road and noticed, if not experienced, the long lines at drive throughs um, You know, there's several companies that have started to use mobile devices to line bust, even at the drive through um, Much of the bottleneck that occurs at the drive through is not actually in the food preparation, but in the ordering process. So by placing associates outside with mobile devices, they're able to process multiple orders at the same time, similar to handling them indoors. Um, you know, and when you combine some of these use cases with digital signage interaction with your customers, you can really elevate the experience and increase sales by being able to service more customers because of the increased efficiencies. Um, you know, the integration of the digital signage in the process also helps with some of the safety issues in a variety of ways, including directing traffic and offering self-service options. Absolutely. You know, I really wish that uh, some of those retail solutions that you talked about were there when I used to work in retail back in the day. Probably would have made my life a lot easier. Uh, thank you so much. Jerry, uh, look, your whole business is the customer experience, so I'm sure you have a lot to talk about in this uh, this segment. Uh, how is your business helping the customer experience, and, and how are you revolutionizing it in, in so many ways? Well, you know, it's interesting. I, I agree with uh, uh, Sean and Andy in their assessment about kind of the world as we live in today with COVID and what's really happened over the last year, uh, specifically in automotive retail. Um, what we're finding is that uh, people like want to get out of the house. They've been locked in forever. So believe it or not, uh, and, and and I don't think it's just because, it, you know, it's, it's, it's fairly difficult to buy a car strictly online and you don't have to go to the dealership. You still have to do it. But what we're finding is there are actually some enthusiasm of people getting into the retail locations. And so I think there's going to be this, this whiplash that's going to come uh, to retail where people are going to want to get out of the house. And they're still going to buy stuff online, but but I think that we're going to be pleasantly surprised that they're going to want to get out into a batteries plus and, and just uh, intermingle with some other people, uh, which they haven't been able to do for, for a year and a half or so. Um, specifically, what, what we've done at Brothers Media Group related to uh, experience, and, and, and experience to us is all about uh, relevancy and interactivity. Um, so relevancy, so putting the right, you know, exact right information in front of that customer, really in a one-to-one -one, uh, scenario. So what we've created, for example, is um, uh, when you, uh, you know, congratulate the customer on a purchase of their car before they go into F&I. Uh, we've got a, a kiosk that's also powered by Magic Info and the SOC, um, where they can literally accessorize their car, the one that they just purchased, right there at the desktop uh, with the salesperson. Or that's very cool. while they're actually um, negotiating uh, the transaction uh, uh, with the salesperson, uh, the salesperson has gotten on our mobile device and said, okay, it's screen three, it's a Honda Accord, uh, puts the phone down, and now on that screen that's there from that customer, the only thing that's playing are glamour shots, running footage, accessories specifically on the model that the yeah. customer is negotiating on. And then another thing that we have, and we actually have a patent on this, I'm, I'm kind of proud of that, is uh, we've got this technology, again, uh, powered through mobile, where you take a, a picture of the customer, you put in the vehicle that they just purchased, you know, they signed a little uh, approval right on the phone, and then on all the screens that we have throughout the dealerships, it starts a countdown with music when it, and everybody in the dealership knows something's going on. And then when it gets to zero, it, it, it shows a picture of the customer, a picture of their you know, beautiful car that they just purchased. And you'll congratulate them on the purchase of their you know, 2021 uh, you know, GMC Sierra and everybody in the showroom claps. And, and uh, what's funny is the, the uh, comments we get from customers uh, when we do that, uh, the customers say, you know, that haven't bought yet, say, hey, are you going to do that when I buy the car? <laughs> and, um, and then, of course, we, we take that picture and that reveal, if you will, and we send that to the customer uh, to their to their text, which allows them to immediately, uh, through an integration, um, uh, put it on their uh, social media and post, you know, their excitement of their uh, new people. So we're doing a lot of stuff from interactive and and putting the right uh, information uh, in front of the customer. That's right. very cool, Jerry. Don't tell my husband because uh, I, I'm already itching to buy a new car and I'm, I'm definitely gonna find one of uh, the dealerships that has your technology in it. So Perfect. super exciting. We have some final questions for you guys. We'll do probably another round as we gotta move on to our food and beverage section of this hour. Um, but we'll move back to Sean. You know, what does the future look like? We've been talking so much about reimagining business, but what is the future for batteries plus bulbs? Uh, Technology is evolving fast. You know, the, the digital displays that we're putting in our stores is a, is a giant 
leap forward for us. I think uh, the short term near future for us is making sure those really work to a very hyper local level. I mean, I guess some examples of kind of nationwide discussion points that we'll put out there. But in our business, you know, a, a pending storm, a hurricane, or the freezing temperatures that just hit Texas, you know, over a, a week long span, you know, those all tend to create battery demand or, or other demand. So getting very local to say in your market, the weather is about to turn cold, test your car battery, be proactive, or prepare for the storm is key. You know, but beyond that, you're thinking a little more long term, you know, those displays are probably just the beginning. Uh, I see a future where we're going to get more connected with our customers where they want to be. You know, and, and to what you know, device, hardware, et cetera, that, that means, uh, not yet sure, but it's really about uh, helping that customer at the counter if they want to be at the counter, on the floor if they want to be on the floor. And I mentioned we do car installations out in the parking lot. If we're out in the parking lot, what type of technology is in our hands that we can help the customer and ensure that they are, are dealing and working with Batteries Plus in the way they want to you know, work with Batteries Plus. So you know, exactly what, the, what that means for the future is, is not yet clear, but I think what is clear is the last 12 months have a lot has changed, a lot has changed for Batteries Plus. And that pace of technological advancement is you know, gonna, gonna continue, if not accelerate in the future. And we really need to be on, on the pulse of it you know, to, to ensure long-term sustainable success. Fantastic. And I, I have a Batteries Plus bulb right down the street from me. So definitely gonna look at uh, the displays with a whole new light now. So thank you so much, Sean. Yep. Andy, you, know, you talked about a lot of great examples before, but what are you really excited about for the future in retail? Yeah, Dana, I think, you know, there's a lot I'm excited about, but ultimately, you know, I get really excited about helping our customers to use technology and new and innovative ways to get closer to their customers and have a competitive advantage in their space. So, you know, this year has really opened the eyes of a lot of people that things can and need to be done differently. Um, you know, in the past, some things were a nice to have, but difficult to achieve. So they sat on that long list of things to think about in the future. Um, but for many of those initiatives, the future's now, and those initiatives have become a must-do instead of a nice-to-do. So, right. um, you know, I think we saw a tremendous amount of creativity in serving customers last year. And the thing that I'm most excited about is that renewed openness to innovation. Um, I think we'll see new champions and channels emerge as some companies figure out the challenges we discussed. You know, how do I solve for that last mile challenge we experienced in 2020? How can I leverage my data in more efficient ways? And how do I enable my store associates to be more efficient? I think that those who can solve for that and create experiences that make their customers want to come back to the stores will win. Love that. Uh, and I think the use of data is, is so important. We're hearing that from across the board is how do we use, utilize data to really advance our business and get into our customers' heads? So totally with you, Andy. Final question to you, Jerry. I, I'm really looking forward to my, my picture on social media with my brand new car, but I'm sure you have lots of exciting things under your belt, under your sleeve. So tell me about them. So we've got two areas that I'm, I'm super excited about. Uh, one is we're just finishing up uh, a recent switch, uh, switching all of our customers nationally over to uh, Samsung's Magic Info software and the SOC. Um, uh, not only does this allow us to uh, turn our customers' uh, equipment installation costs, reduce those, uh, it significantly reduces uh, support costs. We've actually seen a 75% reduction in support tickets and a 50% reduction in truck rolls since we, we've done that. So wow. really excited about that and huge impact on customer experience, obviously. Um, the other initiative I'm, I'm excited about is, uh, you guys were talking about data a while ago, is a data a visualization tool we've created called ABN Inspire, uh, which effectively is a digital sales leaderboard with gamification, as, as well as real-time consolidated corporate analytics uh, and a robust communication strategy behind it. So in addition to our native app uh, that we've written, uh, we're leveraging the functionality 85-inch uh, Samsung Flip, uh, which provide, uh, provides you know, great uh, interactive visual experience uh, uh, for our uh, for our customers, and uh, I just bought 500 of them from you, Andy. So uh, <laughs> uh, uh, we're excited about that product and um, uh, and our relationship with Samsung, obviously. Fantastic, thanks, Sherry. Yeah, I think gamification with employees is so critical. It helps uh, our operations move so smoothly, and when our employees are happy, obviously our customers are happy. So I love that. Really great conversation, guys. Thank you, Andy. Uh, Sean, Jerry, really looking forward to the future of retail.